All right, trying out the most expensive app in App Lab. Welcome to the Fetal Heart Mobile Virtual Reality Simulator. In a moment, you will begin scanning congenital heart disease in a virtual reality environment. By using our app, you can appreciate and learn specific anatomic, functional and geometric features typical for particular anomalies which are also seen during fetal echocardiography. Proper understanding of normal and abnormal cardiac anatomy and function is necessary for detecting congenital heart disease during prenatal cardiac scans. Congenital heart defects are the most common congenital anomalies with the prevalence of approximately 1% in all pregnancies. Although it is worrying that prenatal detection rates for congenital heart disease is low at around 40%, which means that about 60% of congenital heart defects are not detected during prenatal scanning. This is the early access version of the Fetal Heart VR application. Enjoy our concept of the application. Press start to begin. All right, so clearly a professional app since most of this language is pretty foreign to me as a non-healthcare uh, professional, um, but it's a training app for ultrasound technicians. And if you've ever um, had a child coming, have, have had a pregnancy or a pregnancy in the family, then you might have been through these uh, ultrasound controls of the fetus. Uh, I've been through that twice for my kids. Um, also, my wife is a midwife, so she'll get to try out this later because I think that she'll have a bit more to say. Um, this looks pretty intimidating, uh, the controls. But I mean, yeah, let's look at the instruments, um, the actual instruments. Not non-responsive start button. Let's try again. Uh, oh. If I point, it doesn't click. If I don't point, it clicks. And you are scanning a normal fetal heart. Right, so I'm left-handed. Can I switch side? Because uh, this is not my working hand. The VR controller, four chamber view, three vessel and trachea view. By Cavill and aortic arc views. Yep. Do your best to master your scanning skills. Let's do it. Um, there's a setting button. Is it the same here? I point. Oh, it responds. Patient on left. Yes, please. There we go. I'm doing this sitting down, by the way. So I can move this. Uh, I notice... Uh, frame rate drops just by doing this. Not very um, optimized. Um, to start scanning, grab the probe. I can also move this. Mm, <laughs> I would like to have those uh, um, explainers for the buttons and stuff here. I remember there was a freeze command and stuff too. I'm just not gonna bother with this, but I'll go ahead and try to find the heart. Found it. Okay, there's no haptics. I would really like to feel haptics, and of course they could do something cool not just with a standard vibration, but also feeling the heartbeat of this baby, but nothing. Okay, uh, this is the baby. And let's move this. It's not easy. You can see why it requires training. Um, yeah, actually people educate themselves for years to do this in real life. Um, I'm not going to get skilled by trying this app in a professional way, in no way, but it's good to... Okay, I'm not just... I'm not getting a good view here. Is this a good way? I'm going to turn the controller around like a pen. Um...
there. I'm freezing because I get cramps if I hold the hand for that position. Um, and then we have a zoom button or slider. Ooh. A depth slider. Okay, good. So we can position it like this. Offset. Oop, don't touch that. Mm. What's this? Ooh. Oh, it animates. Yeah, I mean this looks pr this looks realistic. I think that real pros would actually get something out of this. Ah, different views. Turn on two D mode, three D, four D mode. Color roll. Okay, so two D mode is what we have now. Three D, four D. Whoa. Okay. So it isolates the thing. But of course, to reposition it, I need to unfreeze and stuff. So I, I need to capture a good position there. All right, this is looking at a normal heart. No, no, nothing happens because I'm, it's frozen. Now, unfreezing, it beats. Um, uh, this I'm not going to try. Quiz mode, I'm not going to answer any quiz questions. Anatomy labels. Where did it go? Oh, is it because I... Yeah. Why... Why does it disappear? Okay. Uh... -huh. Yeah. A case select. This is where I can look at not just a normal heart, which is the um, default, but look at different conditions of course tells me nothing so I'm, I'm not even going to try that i think that's the whole thing for us <laughs> layman um so yeah that's uh, fetal heart the most expensive app on the app lab for oculus quest 2 um and yeah running on a quest 2 it still gives uh, um performance issues frame rate problems so I guess it's uh, running some heavy shit in the background. Uh, lots of heart data and stuff. And uh, that's it for now. Okay, bye.